What I love about it is again the storytelling. Like this is Absolutely. from uh, Michael Jordan's early days when he went to I think it was in Italy that he went and played a game, and you know there's there, there's a video footage that like if you search it online and even for shattered backboard you'll see that there's a huge dunk that he hits and the uh, the backboard the glass backboard shatters. That's actually the reason why this colorway is called shattered backboard. You have almost अभी तक like, like 25 to 30 years का collecting experience right? That's true. You've been collecting 30 to 25 years से. Yep. Yeah. I mean it started off when I was a kid. पहले तो comics था. I mean I was a huge fan of comics. My dad actually got me into comics when I was probably before I could actually read. When I was three, four, five years old, uh, he used to go to the local library, bring Asterix comics home, and he would read out the stories to me so that I knew, okay, okay, now this is going to this is going to So, you know, I knew I, my love for comics began when I was like really, really little. And he would occasionally buy one or two comics for me. I started buying comics when I was a teenager. So I think when I was probably 12 or 13 is when I started getting my first few comics. Right. And uh, I turned 41 this year. So do the math. Yeah, easily about 25 to 30 years of being a collector now. So it started off with comics. Mm -hmm. And then and when I started earning money, everything related to comics, I wanted to start collecting. So whether it's statues, whether it's action figures, uh, I started off with action figures because statues were very expensive mm -hmm. but I knew that what I really wanted was statues and not really action figures. So I got comics, I got statues, I got action figures and parallelly my profession got me into music because that was my my passion. I mean like yeah, I did yeah, my yeah. engineering uh, in 2000, I graduated in 2003. After engineering, I knew that I didn't engineering to take anything from engineering. I was also my college band ka lead singer. Tha. So I sang with my band, we performed at Andrews Auditorium and Chandu Kanan's Hall. So I knew that music is what I wanted to follow yeah. my life, you know, yeah. in my life. Yeah. And so I became a radio jockey, I started performing, I started singing everywhere yeah. and so I started collecting music. And so my primary collections that I did when I started earning money yeah. was my comics, statues, music and I am a huge fan of movies so I felt that every movie that is really worth seeing again, yeah. I wanted to have it uh, in a Blu-ray format. But my love for sneakers began, I think, about two years ago. So, yeah. Two years ago. Yeah. So while I've been a collector for over two decades, uh, my love for sneakers actually began during this COVID. COVID. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's one of my COVID passions, which has now become like a hardcore passion for me. So the kick started with like you know with collecting comics. Right? Yeah. With which, which comic did gave you like a lot of news or interest? Like which were you like you know keen on to ye chahiye mujhe ab? So for me it was always DC comics. I'm a hardcore DC comics guy. Okay. Uh, uh, I mean my favorite superhero was always Superman, uh, and not just because oh, of the oh. fact that he is very powerful and everything, but I like what he stood for, the the values, the principles that Superman and Clark Kent the the human side of Superman stood for, that was very important to me. And there was one specific comic of Superman, which was the death of Superman, which yes. happened in 1993. Yes. I was a teenager, I must have been 12 or 13. And I remember my father, you know, showed it to me in a newspaper because we couldn't get the comics yeah. from then. And when I newspaper, I read that Superman is dead. And I, I remember crying as a teenager, like, oh, oh how can God. that happen? And I had to have that comic, like, yeah, ye, wo specific issue, it was Superman issue 75 in which Doomsday killed Superman. I needed to have that. I couldn't get it then. I got a second and third and fourth edition, but I wanted the first edition. I finally got the first edition about eight or 10 years ago. I found it on eBay, shipped it to a friend in the US who, when he came down to India, he brought it along with him. I got that which I could not wait to open. So I opened it up. So that one I opened out, but I wanted one mint copy as well. And I found a signed copy, which you guys can see here. Or yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's that's the pride and joy of my career. That's the one comic which I knew I had to have. Like that was my teenage dream comic, which I finally landed up getting, I think when I was about 35 years old. Yeah. So me like, uh, tell us about music. How, like, you know, how, like, you are a lot passionate about music. We have almost recorded, like, you know, uh, like, you have almost done your MJ show. 
we have every indian artist almost every indian artist right now so you know it's a very interesting thing when it comes to music that in fact is my band's debut album over there mumbai blues and the guys can see that put it up so this is my band's debut album we released this in 2014 and 2015 we won the jima award for best rock album for this uh, i'm about to release my first hindi single in the next few uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks or maybe a few months since like you know there was comics action figures music but sneakers how did you related with these like how did you start it like tell me from the beginning how it all started so you know uh, आजकल सब लोग स्नीकर्स में राइट आई मीन तुम लोग अगर कॉलेज में हो यू यू कुड बी फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन इवन यंगर आई हैव सीन स्नीकर हेड्स हु आर थर्टीन फोर्टीन इयर्स और माय सन्स अ स्नीकर हेड नाउ इज थ्री एंड हाफ ही लव स्नीकर्स सो नाउ स्नीकर्स हैव बिकम द थिंग लाइक एवरीबॉडी इज इनटू इट सो फॉर मी स्नीकर्स वर डेफिनेटली वन ऑफ दोस थिंग्स लाइक आई हैव ऑलवेज हैड नाइस स्नीकर्स बट आई नेवर लुक्ड एट माय सेल्फ एज अ स्नीकर एंड अंटिल अबाउट 2 इयर्स अगो Uh, two years ago, what changed is I think I watched the, the Last Dance documentary for yes. the first time, and I saw that, and I was like, "Wait, wait, 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 wait! I'm turning forty, and I don't have a single pair of Air Jordan ones." And I grew up. Um, okay, we didn't have NBA when I was a teenager, yeah. but I used to play basketball in my college. Right. And even if you did not watch NBA, mm -hmm. uh, you definitely knew who Michael Jordan was. You definitely knew later on who Kobe Bryant was, who Shaquille O'Neal was. These names transcended that sport, and they became global icons. And the Jordan line, the sneaker line, was something that you knew even as a comic book fan, or even exactly. as a WWE fan, because exactly. you knew that oh, that WWE wrestler wore a Jordan one, or you know, in the comic books. somebody is wearing like a cool pair of jordans or whatever you know or even the movies that i used to watch so i mean i knew about their existence but i never pursued them because it wasn't easily available i think with the with the advent of you know with the with the incoming of brands like wedge non wedge and super kicks to yes, india you know when these guys opened up stores that's when sneakers became more accessible unless you were traveling abroad mm. while relatives us mein rehte hai uk mein rehte hai tum log wahan pe ja rahe ho wahan pe tumne dekhe sneakers and then you get into sneaker culture otherwise there was no other way of understanding what sneaker culture there was, nothing, was. Yes. there was nothing absolutely but with wedge non wedge and super kicks and them bringing sneakers into india a lot of people were like oh wow this is great exactly. and i had still not paid attention to it until i saw the last dance and i was like man how do i not have a single pair of jordans and now uh Air Jordan One is actually my favorite silhouette. Like in the last one and a half two years, I looked at multiple things, but the one sneaker that gives me maximum joy is the Air Jordan One. It's classic, it's timeless, and it's me. It's like my personality fits me perfectly. So I think I've got about twenty five pairs now of Air Jordan One highs. Yeah. I, I I pretty much stopped buying everything else. Like no mids, no lows. No no disrespect to them, by the way. I love mids and lows. I think some of them are phenomenal. But for me, it's also about the quality. It's about the storytelling. I love that most of the highs have a story behind them. Most of them are better quality leather. So my logic is, if I'm gonna spend say around ten thousand rupees on a mid, and about fourteen thousand now it's fifteen and a half on a, a high, I'd much rather spend a little more more money, but get a sneaker which is super comfortable, which I can wear. For a longer period of time, which will look good, and I don't care about the resale value. It's insane, right now. So <laughs> in, 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 in India, right now, mids and lows are selling at a higher price than highs are. The last whatever six highs that came out, apart from maybe the patent breaks, everything else is pretty much sitting at retail or little above retail or whatever. But again, those are not the things that drive me towards sneakers. I'm now even collecting Air Jordan One highs from years ago, which I which I did not. Exactly. So exactly. you know, now I'm just going after Air Jordan One highs in general. Yeah. So tell us about your first Air Jordan One, or you can also tell us about like you know the first sneaker that got you into hide culture. Mm. So for me, that first sneaker was, um, you know, uh, insanely enough. Before I got my first Air yeah. Jordan One high, the first sneaker, which was like a cool sneaker that got me into the sneaker space. uh was a lebron uh, 13 it was a lebron soldier 13 okay uh, i got that from super kicks that was the first one yeah. and then for almost one and a half years after that i didn't buy any more sneakers i was not like picking i picked up an adidas superstar in between but nothing mm -hmm. else and then i i found out like i said after watching the last exactly. dance i wanted to get a air jordan one i actually wanted to get the the bread color way you know yeah. I did not realize how difficult it is to get like the band sneaker you know i love the storytelling behind it that you know The NBA band did this. That all you guys know the stories, or you know you can go and check out some of the videos I've made. I've talked about the story quite often. 
बट आई लव दैट स्टोरी एंड आई वॉन्ट टू गेट दैट आई रियलाइज शिट रेड वन लेने को जाएगा तो एक लाख का जूता एक लाख का जूता है लाइक हाँ सो यू कैन गेट दैट So I want to get the band mids, you know, because I thought that's the closest thing I could get to the bread one. You know, mm-hmm. it's not a high, it's a mid. Exactly. But I could get that. So I was, I started my search for the the band mid. That was actually my first sneaker I wanted to get. But before that, I landed up getting the University Gold lows from mm-hmm. Super Kicks. That was the first pair that I got on their Heat page. Yeah. And uh, I I love yellow in general. Exactly. Everybody knows. Uh, me he loves yellow. Follow me on social media. You guys know I love yellow. So I just want to add this. So when we were talking about the band mates, and I, I am, I am been like you know, I have been following you since the time you were looking for band mates. Okay? Correct. And I have noticed this like you went all in, okay? And as far as I know, like what Mihir is, if Mihir को कोई चीज़ पसंद होती ना, he gets into the rules, roots. जड़ों तक चले जाएगा Mihir and he will find that particular thing. So Mihir, MJ show में you got Brandon Dunn. Yeah. You got devotees, yeah. Um, and apart from that, Canada James. Yes. I got uh, Jack Slade was actually Jack. the first guest. Uh, yes. When I saw, you know, my logic was listen. If I'm going to get into the sneaker space, I'm going to interview people uh, in the sneaker space. Let me get the biggest YouTuber in the sneaker space. And I realized that Jack Slade is probably the biggest from the perspective of the number of followers that he has and the kind of content he's making. The fact that every major brand is sending him the best sneakers. He's talking about the best sneakers, and I love this content. I love this style of talking. So I reached out to Jack, and yeah. he said, "Sure, man, let's do it." So I got him. I got uh, and then Ranveer came. Yes. He was one of the top Indian sneakerheads, in my opinion, and a very dear friend now. Yeah. One of my favorite story uh, storytelling sessions was with Dave Ortiz. I think he's one of the exactly. most unbelievable guys. Uh, such a phenomenal artist. Such a phenomenal. Creator of storyteller, yeah, storyteller. So uh, and you know we've been in touch ever since, and it's a it's a privilege, it's a joy to say that one of the coolest guys in the world who's made one of the most amazing sneakers, uh, all time. One of many, by the way. Everybody knows about the Bacon's, but he's done a lot more sneaker collabs with a lot of other brands, and he spoke about it on the MJ show. Uh, he's somebody whom I'm still in touch with, and we've kind of become friends, and I. Deeply appreciate that, and I'm hoping that we can get into India sometime soon, very soon. Uh, can I remove your weekend? Yes, like, sure. I just want to like you know get one, and because if 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 anyone knows me, they know how crazy I am for this sneaker. Like literally, like when I when I turned twenty uh, two last year, mm-hmm. my mom baked me a cake of Air Max ninety three. Ah, so cool, man. Yeah, nice. it's actually like you know. This pair is not just a pair; it's yeah. a part of history. Yeah, it that, is. That's what I think. So we like. I know that you are aware of like you know big sneaker collectors. Like big sneaker collectors. I mean, uh, Fat Joe, hmm. DJ Clark, and hmm. like you know PJ Tucker, the man. Yeah. Yeah. So who do you think has the most biggest sneaker collection in India? In India. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Honestly, I think that has to go to Ranveer Jain, man. I've yeah. seen that he has. He's got an unbelievable collection. He's shared a photo uh, a, a while back on his social media, or I think it was on the Soul Search social media, and it is. He's just got a sea of sneakers. He's. I don't even know. I can't. I, I don't. I think the last time I asked him, I, I I don't think I remember the number, but it's an insane number. So he's got one of the biggest and one of the coolest collections. So there was, uh, there is actually Ram Vijay's podcast, mm-hmm. uh, and like you know, a year ago, a year or a year and a half ago, uh, ago I was like you know going through that. Mm-hmm. So Ram Vijay is actually one of the biggest sneakers, uh, sneaker heads of India. For sure. Nineties say he's collecting sneakers, and one करके there is a company mm-hmm. जिनके sneakers he used to collect. From now to Travis and everything, there's just a rumor, but it's more than a rumor. But he has almost like four thousand to five thousand plus sneakers. Like, like I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if that's true. But but he's got like he's got a ton of sneakers. Watch, yeah. Like I don't collect Yeezys. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I just don't. you don't collect Yeezys. Like I just we, don't. We need to talk about it. Why don't you collect Yeezys? You know, uh, two reasons. One is. 
I realized that I love Jordan ones. Yes. That's my passion. All right. I want to continue collecting Jordan ones. And second thing is, yar, the pricing of re- Yeezys is crazy. By uh, retail, mat tum teis hazar ka juta khareedne wale ho ya atthai atthai hazar ka juta khareedne wale. Nahi yar, abhi tak wo even if I have the money, I can't justify it. Like I'm okay. Chalo, you will say ki yar, fifteen thousand is not like less. But thik hai, fifteen thousand is still lesser than twenty three thousand. I'd much rather spend fifteen and a half thousand or like in thirty thousand rupees. Buy two Jordan ones rather than spending twenty eight thousand rupees and getting like like literally like what what was that Wave Runners which just came out right now for at twenty seven thousand bucks OG color yeah yeah OG color I was getting it at twenty seven but I was like nahi ya nahi I can't justify twenty seven thousand rupees for a shoe which ultimately I will not wear as much as I would wear Jordan just visually the one pair that speaks to me is the zebras I think yeah. that's a pair that I might land up getting yeah. in the collection someday. But so, Mehir, I have a question for you. Okay? Mm-hmm. This is a very personal question from uh, from my side because I'm a big Kanye West fan. Mm-hmm. Do you like Kanye? I like I like rap culture in general. I love a lot of rap music. I won't say I'm the biggest Kanye West fan, yeah. but I I watched his documentary recently on, oh. on Netflix. I think he's a phenomenal artist. Like, मतलब मैं हैरान हो गया था पता है उस दिन when like I was just standing मैं ऐसे खड़ा था. मिहिर वॉज योर और नील ऐसे ही बैठा था ठीक है एंड आई वॉज जस्ट सींग बाय टू मिहिर नील आता है एंड आई वॉज वेरिंग माई जॉर्डन फाइव एंड हीज लाइक फाइव ओ देन हीज लाइक और एक ऑन और एक ऑन आई लाइक सो ही नोज दैट The three fives that I have, I have the uh, Raging Bulls, I have the Oregon's, and I have the Fire Red. So he called it all three names. He essentially meant to say Air Jordan Five, five. because he was wearing a different Air Jordan Five. I don't know what were you wearing. Uh, it was metallic silver, metallic. Silver. Yes. So I do Hindi commentary for WWE yeah. also read and three, and I go early in the morning because we work on US time. So suppose yeah. it's Monday night draw. For them, it's Monday night, which yes. is for us Tuesday in the morning. Absolutely. So it's at five thirty in the morning. So I wake up and leave the house by around four o'clock oh. before my son even is awake. Yeah. The moment he comes out, that's what my wife always tells me. Yeah. The moment he comes out, he'll first come and stand and look at all the racks. He'll see which rack is empty, and then he'll tell my wife, "Oh, today Baba is wearing the polo. Oh, today, oh. today Baba is wearing the hyper royal. Why is he wearing the hyper royal today? Today is not a special day. Why is he wearing a special shoe? Oh. So he'll spot, like he will know what I'm wearing." The moment he gets up and walks out of the bedroom, before he f- looks at anything else, before he goes to eat breakfast or you know brush his teeth, he first come and see what did Baba wear today, sir. It just it just blows my mind. Three year old spy. Yeah, three year old spy. Spy. You know what Baba? And then you know suppose we are gonna go out together. He'll always know that he's got two Air Jordan ones. Okay, yeah. he's got the Marina blue and he's got a cherry red. Yeah. So he'll decide. Okay, if I'm wearing Marina blue. What should Baba wear so that we are kind of matching? Oh. Like you know, uh, so he'll be like, okay, I'm wearing Marina blue today. Uh, you can wear Poland if you want to. So that kind of kind of goes with with me. Or like you know, if I wear something that's totally away from him, then he'll make sure that he get a picture together where his sneaker and my sneaker are you know seen in that frame together. मैं मैं सिर्फ रुका हूँ like you know to see him grow more. I told him कि भाई तेरे को जो करना है कर just don't grow bigger than a UK nine. UK nine तक तेरा पैर रहेगा तो we have a ton of sneakers. If you go to UK ten or eleven then भाई तेरे लिए खुद का तू collection बनाना पड़ेगा जब then I get to keep all my sneakers for myself and you'll have to buy your own sneakers because I'm not buying any more sneakers. I'm gonna buy until you are तेरे birthday पे हर एक साल तेरे को एक जूता मिलेगा अच्छा जूता मिलेगा maximum बीच में कुछ कुछ special हो गया तेरे लिए one more so you'll get like two pairs in a year. हाँ उसके बाद if you want to build your collection either stay at uk9 so that you can swipe my shoes all right so mehi tell us about your most expensive sneaker that you are owning right now uh it's a grail that i wanted because again uh, of the storytelling i'm going to pick it up and yeah, i'm sure you guys i want you pick both i even i want like you know just to have uh, this fantasize <laughs> so yeah, my my most expensive sneaker is the air jordan 1 shattered backboard 2.0 Uh, what I love about it is again the storytelling. Like this is from uh, Michael Jordan's early days when he went to I think it was in Italy that he went and played a game, and you know there's a, there's a video footage. Like if you search it online anywhere for Shattered Backboard, you'll see that 
there's a huge dump that he hits and uh, the backboard, the glass backboard shatters. That's actually the reason why this colorway is called shattered backboard. And why specifically? Because Michael Jordan was wearing an orange t-shirt of that basketball team. It was like an exhibition game that he was doing before. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's actually a design of a rim, the net and shards of glass, you know, and, 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 the, and the backboard shattering. So, you know, this is what I love about the details of storytelling on the shattered backboard. This is what the insole looks like. It is actually a rim with the net under it and, you know, the uh, shattered backboard, the shards of glass uh, from that shattered backboard uh, drawn on top of this. I think it's such a cool little uh, design element that has been added into the sneaker, yeah. which actually sort of ties the entire story together, which kind of makes it complete. And it's not just some white and orange Air Jordan one, yeah. you know. There's a reason why this colorway is the way it is, why that insole looks the way it is. And that's the beauty of storytelling with Air yeah. uh, you know, Jordan one. Has. Absolutely, like a chote si insole ki detail is adding, adding so much of value towards the sneaker. Right? Exactly. Making the whole concept of being a collector more, much more juicy. That's true. Yeah. So like, this sneaker is actually so, like, Cash wala sound. Yeah. Pretty expensive. Go get it yourself. It's yeah, the 2.0 yeah. version. Yeah, for sure. For sure. The 1.0 is even crazier, but this is the one that I wanted to get. Because mm -hmm. it's got the the Chicago style color blocking. Absolutely. Uh, which you can see, you know, like if you remove orange and put red, that's the Chicago. So yeah, I mean I, I wanted to have this. This is also the UNC colorway, for instance, and the Rookie yeah. of the Year. So all of them have that same color blocking. And the Rookie of the Year is incidentally gonna be my next sneaker that's getting added to my collection so I'm excited about that. The rookie of the year too, like another great story. iconic sneakers. And see for what I look at as grades and what I look at as really cool sneakers may not exactly be what you look at as cool sneakers. For instance, I'm not a fan of the Travis Scott sneakers in yeah. general. Yeah. Like even if I got a pair at retail of all the Travis Scott Jordans that are there, yeah. the one sneaker that I actually like is the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan hat. Yeah. Uh, while I know the low is super popular, yeah. that's not my style. So I, even if somebody offered it to me at retail, I wouldn't take it because that's not my style. You know, okay, I would probably buy it and then sell it and with the money that I'd make, I'd land up buying won. five <laughs> <laughs> Jordan 1 highs. But frankly speaking, I wouldn't do that also. I'd much yeah. rather let that sneaker go at a great price to a collector who would value it. So for me, I'm not a huge Travis Scott fan. Therefore, I'm not a huge fan of everything that he puts out. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, with off white, I was just going to say that. I know. So off white, I love what Virgil Abloh has done. Oh, sure. Okay, his storytelling, his art, his uh, you know the incredible body of work that he has done is phenomenal. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I've got nothing but love and respect for him. But from my perspective, when I look at it, like there are certain sneakers I love. Like I love his uh, Chicago. High, yeah. which is phenomenal. I love the UNC high, yes. phenomenal. I love the Air Force One Volt and the Air Force One University Gold, which one yeah. which he released yeah. recently. But I don't love every sneaker. I don't. I'm not a fan of every aspect of his storytelling. Like the 50 dunks which came out, I just thought like, wow, that's crazy, man. Like it's literally one to 49. Almost feels like the same shoe with some modifications. Absolutely, on I, I all of them. totally agree over here because yeah. like. What Mihir, Mihir is actually a collector and I also see some some what of myself as a uh, as a collector too. So it is not just like you know uh, running behind the hype. Up hype ke piche nahi bhag rahe you. You just want to like you know add value towards your sneakers. Like yeah. How important they are because but, and for, to, it's got to you too. Right? Exactly. It's got to be something where yar will I wear it? Like yar mere paas unlimited paisa hota to bhi wo 50 dunks nahi kharita because ultimately yar. 1 to 49 is it how many similar how many dunks I will wear same dunks I will wear how many dunks it's only the hardcore fans they will be able to tell you that this is 25 out of 40 I mean 25 out of 50 this is 28 out of 50 and this is like okay 13 out of 50 everybody else will be like this is a dunk standard dunk I will put an other extra lace and an off-white dunk but that's pretty much it the only difference you can make out is 50 is different and 1 is like significant I was going to say that I was going to say I just know why not 50 I like it but I'm still confused that black or white or white but again 
I'm not putting any anybody's love for it down. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. love them and you want to get all 50s for you, go for it. That's for you. That's not necessarily what is for me. Yeah. Uh, like for me in, in general, off-white sneakers itself may not be the thing for me. But for me, I want to get a Chicago Sunday. I want to get a bread Sunday. I want to get a pine green one point oh and a a coat purple one point oh and a shattered backboard one point oh. So for me, those will be the sneakers I will go after. And even in the future, the sneakers that are going to be dropping, yeah. I'm going to look at the sneakers and say, hey, I want to wear that. Like I, I, the the Volt Air Jordan one that's yes. going to come out this year. I like that colorway. It may not be for everybody. It might just sit at retail, but I want to get that, so I'll get it. Same thing with this. We were just talking about the the heritage. So many people thought like, "Arey, yar, itna stock aa gaya, and maybe it's not a great sneaker." For me, the way I look at it is, it's a phenomenal sneaker. It's like the bread, but in white. So it's like I joked about it in my video when I made it. I called it the bread. But yeah, it's a it's a phenomenal sneaker, and you guys know it, right? When Chicago drops this year, and most of us were gonna get an L. This is what everybody's gonna go after again and say like, "Yeah, this is great. Maybe I can make this red. I can make this white. I'll get a Chicago. Maybe I make make this black. I'll get a black too. Maybe I make it completely black. I'll get a bread." So many things that you can do with this sneaker, or if nothing else, just wear it because it's a kick kick ass sneaker. So again, I've been mean, I'm saying this to everybody. Just get it. It's a beautiful sneaker. Yeah, so I'm going to take another sneaker out. Hmm. Okay, which is so these are the electro orange. Yeah. So the best thing about these electro orange that I like is these Jordans. Ye Jordans ko Shah Rukh Khan ne pena. Jee baat. Kya baat hai? Of course, man. So you know what? This is the this is what I love about storytelling with sneakers. Now, for us. the storytelling that will make a difference with indian kids people who are getting into sneakers at the age of 15 16 17 is did sharukh khan wear it did yeah. ranbir kapoor wear it did varun dhawan wear it did yeah. uh, uh you know mc altaf wear it did divine wear it did raftar wear it you know the people that you identify with like how Adidas superstars became a thing because Run DMC was rapping about it. Uh, uh, Air Force ones became a thing because Nelly was rapping about it. Yeah. Nelly, uh, uh, Run DMC, uh, Pharrell, uh, all of those guys in the US, they drove the culture of the US. And I genuinely believe that our rappers, our singers, our actors in India will drive sneaker culture in India. So we, I, I want to like you know take out another sneaker. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's actually I guess it's special to you mm -hmm. which I have noticed. Uh those Air Force ones. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Let me get that for you. Because it's all about like you know collecting sneakers and making your own story. Yeah. Tell us about okay, the so your <laughs> Nike Jo uh <clears throat> Nike Air Force one by Mickey Joshi. That is true Nike Air Force one. So you guys know that you can customize your own sneakers on the Nike app. It's called Nike by you or it used to be called Nike ID. And I, I wanted, so you know, I wanted a Chicago colorway. Like I wanted the bread colorway. I wanted the Chicago colorway. I said, okay, even if I can't get the Chicago Jordan ones, because now they are at like some one, two, three lakhs. I don't yeah. know what it is. But I said, okay, let me see. For a very limited period of time, this red was available on an Air Jordan. I mean, on an Air, Air Force, Force One. So I instantly got it done. I got the red and black and white uh, Chicago colorway done, and I added a little. Personalization where the, it's generally in Nike Air. I added MJ, and I kind of love the fact that my initials uh, work with Michael Jordan as well. So you know, Nike MJ. MJ is a good uh, uh, you know set of initials to have if you're yeah. a, if you're a sneakerhead, if yeah. you're a basketball <laughs> fan. So you know, I'm, I'm I'm quite thrilled that my Nike MJs are actually Nike Mihir Joshi's, you know, yeah. not Nike Michael Jordans. And uh, this is my sneaker, and I, I got this lace. I can't remember. Somebody who sent me this lace, uh, and I thought it kind of goes nicely. It, yeah. it came with a plain black lace because that's how I customized yeah. it. I wanted a black lace, mm -hmm. and then I got the the first shoes when they did the 50th anniversary of uh, the Nike the swoosh. Yeah. They yeah. did dunks. They did first. I, I got the I got the waffle trainers, mm -hmm. and I basically got it for this dubre, and I put the dubre on this sneaker because yeah, this is an important sneaker to me, and it's got this beautiful little Nike yeah. dubre with the little. Diamond on it, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm. This is another sneaker that I'm super happy to have in my collection, and this is gonna be with me always because it's, yeah, it's mine. <laughs> so we were talking about like you know the influence of Bollywood people and our own Indian rappers. Yeah. 
uh, we know ki Travis Scott is like you know the biggest guy for mm-hmm. Jordan brand right now. Yeah. Uh, Adidas ke liye there is bad bunny. Mm-hmm. So like you know the there was a time jab uh, in the Latin world like you know where bad bunny is from. Mm-hmm. Unka matlab he was like right? like you know. So he makes Spanish music, mixing music, yeah. like whatever it is. Like I'm confused right mm-hmm. now with that part. Uh, there are these certain regions which Nike focuses their like you know marketing forward. It was from Main Street Hip Hop, mm-hmm. from where Travis Scott came. Then it was uh, J Balvin, mm-hmm. uh, Bad Bunny, who Nike targeted to. Okay. The next thing is going to be India, which what I fear yeah, for sure. And that Travis Scott personality is like you know I I see someone in our rap community who can like you know. Hold that same value, like you know. Mm. Do you do you feel the same, like you know, influence wise? Because India is actually growing like better than like you know. Like, you know, honestly speaking, from a, a scale perspective, yeah. from a mass perspective, the yeah. only guy who could do it is Bacha, honestly, okay. and Rafta. For me, these right. are the two guys right. who could do it because of the mass. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, Divine is somebody who, for me, is. phenomenal but he's going to be the guy in my opinion who will make that you know if there were if there were three people who were making sneakers yeah. the bachan and and raftar sneakers may sell a lot more yeah. because their appeal is exactly uh, they are lot more their reach is a lot more but the divine sneakers were the the og guys are going to go after yeah. the guys who are into the hardcore uh, rap music That's scene they're going to go after After divide, so you know these are the three guys legitimately right now who could Absolutely. pull off, uh, who could get like a sneaker deal, and who could do some really really cool stuff and yeah. and influence sneaker culture in a huge way okay. uh, in India. So yeah, for sure. I mean, in the in the rap community, these three are the guys who I would yeah. who I would assume could be saying right now. Yeah, right? for Because sure. All the all all the three of these guys have their own personality. Bajja okay. is all into high fashion sneakers. Okay, Raftar. uh he was jordan but he also experiments with other stuff while divine he wear air forces more mm-hmm. which i have seen jordan shoe but he likes to wear eights fives elevens more he's much more of an og guy only right yes. yeah, yeah i mean so I'm, i'm just saying that these are the guys who can drive the culture in india because yeah. they've got so many thousands and possibly millions of people who are who are their fans yeah. and that's when you can actually change the culture if you are wearing something cool like i remember recently there was a mc altaf video where he was wearing His entire crew was yes. wearing Urban Monkey yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. T-shirts and merchandise. He was wearing, I think, Golden Rod Dunks. Yes. And you know, when when that video becomes huge and the, his entire legion of fans sees that, they're gonna be like, "Hey, me ko waisa T-shirt chahiye, me ko waisa jute chahiye." Absolutely. And that's when the culture grows. That's when the stories grow. Yeah. So I think it's it's great to see that uh, music and hip hop, as it did in the US, now it's happening mm-hmm. in India and. That's going to help influence sneaker culture for the Indian audiences. Yeah, I absolutely believe in this. Like, you know, there's going to be a time when you, like, you know, if you're watching this video, or you're taking okay, some Jordan shoe later, and the passion that me here and I have for sneakers, if that is influencing you, you are going to wear Jordan shoe. Yeah, for sure. We had this amazing deep dive in conversation. We had this whole like you know a look in your like thirty five like thirty to twenty five years of collection, True. which is massive. And there are like not many people in India which are who are going to have this itna bada collection. Hmm. So we are blessed. Thank you for like you know inviting us and, and show the world what Mihi Joshi is having hmm. and collecting it. Happy to have you guys here. Thank you so much for uh, having me. For everybody watching right now, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow these guys on Instagram. They've got some great stuff happening all the time. And I love, I, I you know, I said this to uh, Zed a long time ago. In fact, before you know we met in person, I think I messaged him on Instagram saying, "I love the fact that it's not just about selling sneakers. It's about." you know forwarding the culture letting people know the stories and i like the content that goes up on their instagram as well so hey shout out to off kicks good stuff keep keep doing what you're doing to uh, take the culture forward and to get a lot more people into sneakers but uh, that's pretty much all the time we have here thank you guys for being here at my yeah all right so please like share subscribe 
and keep watching of cake science